Tonight, people in mid-Missouri are cleaning up after strong storms sweep across our ABC 17 News viewing area. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lucas Geisler. And I'm Lindsay Burning. Today, we had several reporters out in the field driving through the hardest-hit areas and talking to residents. ABC 17's Dan Massinio joins us now live from Sturgeon. And, Dan, you saw several trees down and damaged throughout the city. I did, Lindsay, and this street in Sturgeon saw the worst of it. Now, I want to show you something where you can see the power of the storm that blew through here last night. This is a roof to the porch, the backyard porch of this house, in the front yard. Now, the wind came up, it blew this roof off, blew it over the house, and dropped it right here in the front yard. And this isn't the only damage that we saw driving around Sturgeon today. One resident I talked to says she was in bed when she heard tree limbs hurting, hitting her home. Today she woke up to find those tree limbs poked holes in her roof. Several trees all over Sturgeon lost limbs. City crews were out today cleaning it up. Sturgeon lost power last night around 8. I'm told it was back on around 1030. Now Boone Electric does not supply power to Sturgeon, but Boone Electric reports six to seven hundred of its customers in this part of Boone County were without power and around 2,500 total throughout the county. Now I talked to one resident who tells me the wind snapped a large tree destroying his carport and damaging a few other structures on his property. We noticed that the power went out and uh, my girlfriend actually went over and looked out the window and whenever she looked out the window she said there's a huge tree down in the driveway and so at that point then I got up and Came outside and noticed that we had trees down pretty much all over the yard and it had taken the power out to the shop and landed on a couple of the sheds and outbuildings that we have. James tells me the tree caused thousands of dollars of damage to his property. I did see minor damage to other homes and properties around Sturgeon, but tonight it's unclear the cost of all the damage to this area. Reporting live in Sturgeon, Dan Massinio. ABC 17 News.